Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still in... Is this the dark place? No, I can't. Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps. Perhaps so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we defeated Mr. Harry, Harry Man back. I can't climb up there just yet. Um, I, uh, this is where I, I just hit continue and, uh, this is where it picked back up. So I, I think I, I extended the last episode yeah. to, um, uh. To have this there, it's getting dark. his him him talking. So we've already heard this. I'm just uh, just picking back after after the fight with Harry Man back. So now we're trying to find some extra clues in the flooded area, previously flooded area. Oh, holy shit! God damn, what the fuck happened to the deer? Is it just uh, caught in the flood? Something's been fucking having a snack. Okay. Anyhow, well, hello everyone again. Welcome back to Alan Wake 2. We're moving right along. I'm getting some episodes of this recorded and going to try for the end of a uh, chapter each uh, video. Sometimes that doesn't go exactly to plan because, you know, I do have a, a, uh, a toddler here that decides to wake up from nap at random times and sometimes that happens to be before the end of the chapter. And right, I'm looking into my webcam and I'm not even recording on it. <laughs> so, force of habit. I'm not even recording because it, it, it makes my, uh, it makes the game run. A locked box. Oh, hey. Terribly. Nice. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? It is. I got you. Be luck. Okay, easy enough. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't that. Uh -huh. ammo. Remember. Looks like they're tools of the trade. Remember the, the cult doesn't God see damn. their victims as people. Well, what do they see them as? Deer? Remember, they look as look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. Goddamn. So we got flares. Looks like 12 gauge ammo. Ooh, more inventory space and was that a fucking bottle of Nos? My fucking Dominic Toretto. What the fuck? What is that? Propane tank. Throwable gas canister detonates when shot, inflicting heavy damage to anything nearby. Oh, that'd have been nice against uh, against our hairy backed friend chasing me around with his his nakedness. All right, let's. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess continue looking around. I don't. I don't know. Already been that way. I don't know. It's, kind of clues are going to show up, but, you know, worth a shot. He was out here all fucking night. Wait. Cauldron Lake Shore. Okay, so I can't go this way. That's cut off. Doesn't look like there's any more points of interest around here. What the fuck is that? A lighthouse? Oh, no. It's a, it's a thumbtack. I'm a dumbass. I'm looking at a map. Okay. And that's the overlap. So that's where we cross over. Okay. Well, I'm just going to keep an eye out for any little woven... Uh, ...goodies from our lunchbox leaving friend. Any manuscript pages? Although, in all this clutter and foliage, it's hard to see manuscript pages. What the fuck is that noise? Okay. Well, here's the overlap. Do we go back through, or... Ooh, game saved. Okay. Cool. 
All right, well. Oh, boy. Good to know. It's still fucking... Oh, God. I don't like that... the implication. Can I collect this? Oh, fuck. Pulling this out. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Bro. <laughs> it's a whole ass wolf. Okay. Hang on. Oh, shit! Oh, motherfucker. You fucking bitch. You made me fucking... You made me miss my reload, you fuck. Come on. Come on, wolf. Whoa, what the fuck was going on with your legs, buddy? Come on. Come on. Oh, stop. I hit the fucking... Where are you going? Safe havens. Oh! Yeah, the animals are turning into monsters. That was quick, quick draw McGraw on that one. Holy shit. You dead? Yeah, you dead. Fuck. This will heal me some. Ah, oh, just a smidge. God damn. Ugh, that made me jump. Okay. Alright. Uh, well, let's hang on ammo. Sure. I guess I'll fucking burn one of these. I am terrible at inventory management. I think I've said that multiple times. Alright. God damn. Fucking animals, man. Does that mean the flooding... Oh, that's what fucking was eating the deer. Okay. I mean, the flooding over in this part is gone down now, too, yeah? Oh, shit. This wasn't here before. Okay, I guess the flooding has gone down. And nothing was disturbed. Convenient. Being fucking scared by wolves and deer men. Saga. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly, a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Ah. Okay, so that's what I'm doing currently, investigating the previously flooded area. Oh, uh, look at that. Arrows. Perfect. Wait. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, those are only visible to the light. That's like in the first one, some of those areas. Look at that. Painkillers. Oh, small health. Quick. Uh, let's quick slot that to you. I'm a quick slot. Fuck it. Quick. Nope. God damn it. A quick slot. A trauma pad to, to and the uh, painkillers. All right. There we go. Follow the arrows this way. I guess. Is this previously flooded area? Ooh. Streamside stash key. Ah, well, thank you. Well, that's very nice of you. Let's find the stream side. Dig into the stash. Ah, look at that. Look at this. Today's catch, a yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out-of-towner walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch, just an old rubber boot, some of the regular creepies roaming around again. Avoided them, as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. Uh-huh. Anything else? No? Okay. Shit. Let's see. Uh, so, I'm assuming... Oh, Streamside is up here. Okay, well, is this bridge leads over there, right? I don't want to go back to Bright Falls right now. I just wanted to see my goals again real quick. 
Ah, streamside. Nice. There's something written here. The fuck? A poem? A poem? Or a riddle. Fucking nursery rhymes? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One, bir one bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle. Five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending. Whatever it may be. Huh? Oh. I, uh... Oh, okay, so I don't have anything here for these yet. Not yet, anyhow. What's this say? What the fuck is all this shit? What are you guys doing out here? A little clothespin doll. Ooh. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Yeah? Uh... Crow doll? A figurine representing a crow. Okay. Oh god. Ugh. Ugh. Fucking... Tapped my sensitivity button. Let's see, one bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight. Four for a struggle, injury, misery, grow of the sun. Oh, grow of the sun. Something feels different. I should look around. Dude, all I, all I gotta do is fucking... Oh! Hey, hey. Charm. Cute. Various benefits. Equipment. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Oh, nice. Check it out. Attack staggers in and out. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Hey. Nice. Cool. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, you know, Crow of the Sun. I don't know why the fuck. I'll keep that for Logan, though. Sure. Alright, buddy. Holy shit. I suck. Shoot him in the ass. Come on. That took way too many shots. I, I fucking, I panic. Sue me. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I, I panic, okay? I... I don't do well on the pressure. What's up here? Anything interesting? Witchfinder Station? Oh, there's that place. Okay. Fucking wolves. The wolves are out suddenly. What's this say? From Alaska to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and all the way down to California, the Pacific Northwest area spans over a diverse range where you find 59 threatened or endangered species of plants and animals, including the mighty orca and wild gray wolves. The Pacific Northwest region's ecosystems are wonderfully diverse. They include mountain areas like the Cascades and Olympic Ranges, as well as the dense forests around them. In the west, there are several islands, dry and desert plateaus over the, cover the east. Some of the common wildlife calling the Pacific Northwest their home are robins and seagulls, squirrels and otters, cougars and deer, coyotes and raccoons, salmon and blue herons. The marshes and ponds of this area host an impressive variety of fauna, but majestic trees like the black cottonwood, big leaf maple, and Oregon ash thrive in the wetlands too. It's truly, the nature lover's paradise. Well, hopefully I'm in the Pacific Northwest sooner than later. Uh, because I have... Uh, is it not this one? Taken up an interest in hiking, and uh, you know it doesn't get any better than that for sure. Guess we're just gonna do some. Uh, exploring this episode. Hello. Anybody home? Miriam and Matt. Thanks for the lovely hike. Patty came down from MYC and loved every minute of the trip. Lori and Bob, these paths have seen better days. Nice views you got here. Suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way. 
From your friendly park ranger, do hike and enjoy the scenery. Set up your tent, enjoy a nice meal, and relax. Don't chop down trees, leave your trash behind, be loud and obnoxious. Start a forest fire. Yeah, let's not start forest fires. Smokey will come and maul you to death if you do, okay? I know, he told me. That's specifically what would happen. All right, let's see. Oh, another one of those rhymes. Mother Crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Okay. So is my little crow figurine like all I need for these? Crow. Huh? Wait, is there more than... T uh, where's the, Okay, so where's the other crow? There's got to be another figurine around here. Right? Shit. Alright, well... Oh! Okay. Hey, hey! Look at that. We got power. That's good. I've already been in here. Oh, I get it. Oh, it's for saving. Nice. Let's save. Thank you for the save. That's very kind. Ooh. What's to say? Another manuscript page? Is that what that is? Take a peek. Cult of the Tree. Children in Bright Falls grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark in the woods. Somewhere, all the urban legends lay a secret truth, the real identity of the cultists prowling the woods, real faces hidden behind the masks, real hands held the knives, real people fulfilling grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Nice. Is there anything I could put up here? Anything new? Cult of the tree. Oh, wait. Oh, why am I so... Damn. Okay, let's see. Note reminding cults that victims are like animals. Psychology? Okay, so there's more of that. We got... Cult stashes. Stash found at Lake Shore. And... Now we have nursery rhymes. Good lord. Okay. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> why wouldn't there be nursery rhymes? Cauldron Lake rhymes. Reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. Keep trying. Wait. Who are these? Who made them? Let's see. A charm appeared at the site of the rhyme... Yes. Um, Ryan found another cauldron lake. Strange dolls. Here we go. Thanks, Saga. Oh, okay, so it's probably gonna be these. Okay. Cool. We got all that so far. All right. So I I feel like I am missing a doll right around here though. For this, oh god! Okay, for this one specifically, this was the flooding was fucking gnarly. If all this shit was underwater, oh, is that it? Oh, hey, look, a woven thing. There's a lunch kit over here or something. I couldn't go this far last time. Aha! Another Alex Casey lunchbox. Sweet. I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave, a marching band of shimmering light. Lonely and cold, I hugged myself and sighed. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there. His face, smiling at me, reflected in the water. 
I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true. He was there. My love, my savior, my writer. Damn. Okay. Damn, did that give me nine manuscript uh, pages? Nice. You okay? Oh, hey, that, that, that part's been checked, so I kind of got an idea of where the fuck I'm at now. Okay. You motherfuckers. Hey, you want a party, pal? Aimed ahead? Yeah, now there's less monsters. Fucking A. Holy shit. Oh my god. Look at that fucking... Fucking 9mm did all that shit? Jesus Christ. Fuck, buddy. I'm sorry. God damn. A 9mm fucking ripped your face off? Damn, they're not zombies. They're fucking falling apart like that. Holy shit, that was brutal. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Hey, buddy. Okay. Takes a few shots for these, though, which means it makes more sense. They're not exactly zombies. Hey, buddy. But goddamn, they fucking fall apart like they are. Six plus two, eight? Six? Rock, rock, tree. Are you bright enough? Wait, okay, hang on. So the tree, rock. Oh, hey, look. What is that? Is it seven? Seven minus two? Okay. Five. Six, five, uh, eight. I'm going back over there. These dudes are just spawning randomly, I guess. Is that what it is? Right? Six, five. There we go. Okay. Are you one of us or one of them? Give me this, and... Ooh. Nice. Tanks. Alright, so... Which one does this key go to? Hey, is that another nursery rhyme? Of course it is. Let's see what we got hiding around here. Oh! Got a lunchbox. Somewhere nearby. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Yep. Cool. Obviously, you're going to succeed, or else you wouldn't be the hero. Duh. Damn. Hang on. I forget. This doesn't pause the fucking game. We've got 19 weapon upgrade parts. Let's go ahead and upgrade some fucking pistola. Uh. Oh. Increased reload speed. Deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blind, or knocked down. Kill an enemy to restore health. Damn. That's nice. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Let's go ahead and... Sure. This one. The report of the shotgun rang in the That's air. That's a lot of fucking the parts, but... Fell. Mm -hmm. Saga felt a surge of new energy. She'd been dead tired before, but was ready for more now. She would get through this. She continued on. Okay. We will survive, Saga. There's a manuscript page. I'll grab that.
Oh, good lord. Okay. Where's that at? Huh. Okay. I, I didn't see a new one. Hello? Knock, knock. Tip of the day. When nature calls on a hike, check the direction of the wind before answering. Observations. Hikers have broken off branches of some of the trees down by the lake to make an illegal fire. Tried to fix up the damage, doused the area, maybe put up more instructional signs. Also found some tracks I couldn't recognize. Pretty big. A wolverine? Or footprints that were smeared? Either way, they were wandering around in strange patterns. Might be a sick animal. Need to keep an eye out. Poem of the day. The sun, as, the sh as she sleeps, knows not the woes of men who toss and turn in worry and fret and wish they had her blissful slumber. Observations. Uh, picked up a bunch of trash left by tourists, despite posted guidance. Humans are the worst. Thought of the day. Every majestic pine was once just a wee acorn. A lot of new growth. Some of the saplings I planted earlier, they're really thriving. Must be all this rain. I don't mind it either. Sounds great sounds to sleep to. It's amazing what a good night's rest can do. And a warm cup of tea as well. Okay. Thanks for the observations. I appreciate that. All right. Anybody in here? You gonna jump scare me? Sounds like someone's in here. Fuck. Okay. Don't. Oh. Hi. Blair Witching Moose. Oh boy. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Oh, fuck. Close. That. Jesus. Ooh. Nine mil. I'll take it. Okay. Ah, computer. Perfect. Someone up there. Uh, I definitely don't have that. What does this say? Does that say? 2547? Sure. Uh, 2547. Ah. Experimentation update. Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. Here's the promised update. On the project's first experimentations, the test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the test items was hypothesized uh, to be beneficial for the research purposes. Test results negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is scenario uh, necessary. Department of Parafictional Re Oh shit! From fucking parafictions. Project Nursery Rhymes. Received your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project and both leading it and creating the testing material. Dr. Eugene Campbell, lead researcher. That's fucking cool. What the fuck is this? Alright. I heard something going on in here. Shit. Hello? Oh. More nursery rhyme stuff. A fucking wolf. Hero. Okay. Well, we got some more dolls. That's good. Fucking parafictions in here. Collect. Which finder station? What? FBC file listing test sites in Cauldron Lake. Uh, shit. Witchfinder Station 2, Streamside 1, Cauldron Lake Rental Cabins. Can I just put this on the fucking board or what? Think. I am thinking. Okay, alright. Sorry about that. Strange dolls. And you. Okay. Cool. Man, it's like I'm playing Control and Alan Wake at the same time. I just don't have any fucking crazy ass 
levitation powers and all that good stuff. Is that another doll? No. Objective, research into the reality altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction as an art and art as a source and then manifesting the result into existence. Methodology, the FBC's intent in, t in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes here and after referred to as fiction in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have become to pass but that are not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events, after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline using the creator as a conduit. In the experience, we will recreate nursery rhyme texts with a specific function and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. As a variety of combinations involving the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing based on our results. Interesting. Cool. Very cool. So we'll pop this on there too. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Well, yeah, but... And that always goes well. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the FBI does the same thing. Have you ever been to the Federal Bureau of Control? I wonder if they're going to make a control too. Interesting. They, they're definitely laying out like a lot of fucking... There's a tree clipping through the wall. Um groundwork for a sequel or just a god <laughs> that's definitely not ray traced uh or like it's just a continuation of the universe in general they don't necessarily have to make a second control that but i mean they made an alley wake too after so many years so I, I can see them probably doing that eventually can i get, get that tape no i think we've got everything in here okay so let's see. It's gonna be a big exploration episode for sure. Might as well pet you the deer. A handsome deer. Gotta pet the deer. Every time I see one, might as well. She's got a she's got a soft spot for the deer, you know. That's alright, Saga. We'll pet the deers. Hey, there's the moose. Another moose. Alright. All right. There's a rhyme over here. Yes, there is. What does that say? The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. All right. Uh, wolf. Uh, Hero? Thanks, Saga. It's definitely okay, so hero probably returned home, probably on a boat. There we go. I have a weird feeling something's changed. You'd be right. What is this? What? Just happened. Dark substance appeared when the rhyme was completed. Okay. Ryan fine oh, found outside, okay. There we go. Let's see. Oh, it's just going up the steps, okay. The big bad wolf. Okay then. Going into the house. Hello? Oh god, is it gonna be actually in the fucking house? Shit. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah. Another charm for my bracelet. Nice. Coffee mug saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Hey, I like, I like the charms and stuff. That's cool. It's a cool little uh, little tidbit. Okay. So we figured that one out, but where? Hang on. Let me go back and read this fucking other one. We've 
reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Hey, I did it. Okay. Perfect. Well, at least I know. There's still a stash. A key that I that I have that I haven't found the key, the key for. I mean the lock for. What's it say again? Let's see. Mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero. Okay. All right. So let's put the crow on the baby. Hero on the heart and wolf on the woods. Doesn't look right. Wolf. There we huh. go. Huh? Oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, I know where it's at. Okay. Ah, uh, can't forget the dolls. Might need them again. Uh, I'll get him. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. So pretty good. Cool dot. Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. He <laughs> bugged out there for a second. That's that's okay with me. All right. All right. We'll pick the dolls up. Holy shit. Okay. Thanks. I really wish you could run faster, Saga. You're a fit young lady. Come on now. Put those legs to use. Uh, excuse me. Box. What the fuck? Light. Here. Yeah. No shit. I'll be goddamned. The cult is watching right now. Good to know. Okay. Thank fuck for that. Now I can stop worrying about that. And uh, we can just fucking go back to the car now. Oh shit. Activities happening. Yes, yeah, I don't have access to that area yet. Down there. There's a battery pack in there, but I can't get into that door. Unless I can grab it now since I don't have... Shit, what's happening at the control station? I wonder if, like... Is Max Payne part of the control universe because of his ability to fucking basically slow down time and shit. Shit. What the fuck is happening? Okay, never mind. That's read this already. Why the fuck are you buzzing? What does that say? Warning acti activity detected A W E. Yeah. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. Event in progress. Oh shit. What kind of event? The one that I just fucking got out of? Okay. That's fucking insane. Dude, that's so cool though. I love how it's shared and connected like that. Okay, well... I guess we're going back to the fucking vehicle. Parking is this, this way. Alright. 
Casey, I'm glad you made it out, my dude. You, uh... You don't have a ready magical flashlight like I do. But... Yeah, I guess so. Let's go back to the town. Fuck it. Let's see what they have to say on the way. Ooh, it's nighttime. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to Alpha. So why does it do this? Taking you back to the field office in Bright Falls. Freshen up there and then we'll talk properly. Field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there. And then we'll talk properly. Why the fuck it does that in between loading screens? Hey mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't hey mom, have to even texted you. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? Okay, well. No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. The subtitles are, are very confusing. <laughs> um, okay. Dad, it's mom. What the fuck? Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? Don't let this fucking play out. Stressed. Annoying. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Okay. Whatever. What the fuck? I love the... vibe. Very Twin Peaksy. Hey, you're back in flannel. Look at you, Alan. Anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. <laughs> hey, this motherfucker's crazy. <laughs> Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like, a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Wait, what the fuck did that say? Ati and the janitors. Isn't that homeboy from fucking Control? That weird-ass janitor? I remember. You remember what? A janitor stand? 